In my last video, I showed how to install a hybrid racing shifter assembly. To round out the shifter upgrade, I decided to pair the shifter assembly with shifter linkage bushings from Acuity. These bushings help to further enhance the shifting experience, making your shifts feel as smooth and responsive as possible. The shifter assembly and bushings make a great pairing. These products work for daily or race applications. When you open the box, you'll receive two bushings, two metal retainers, two cotter pins, and a sticker. To begin the install, we need to disconnect and remove the battery. Start by unhooking the negative terminal using a 10 millimeter socket. To help ensure the terminal doesn't touch anything, I usually wrap the terminal in a shop rag. Next, remove the plastic clip that attaches to the battery tie down. Remove the positive terminal, again using a 10 millimeter socket and set it to the side. Remove the battery tie down using the same 10 millimeter socket. Now you can pull the battery out of the car. With the battery removed, you can see the shifter linkage bushings, but to get full access, you need to remove the battery tray and mount. To do this, pull out the plastic battery tray, then unscrew the four 10 millimeter bolts holding the battery tray mount in place. After the bolts have been removed, simply pull the mount out of the car. With all of this out of the way, you now have access to the shift linkage bushings. Some videos show removing the linkage. I found trying to pry the metal clips holding the linkage in place to not be that easy. I instead just pulled the cotter pin out and then pulled the bushing up off of its mount. This provided plenty of play to remove the OEM bushing. To remove the bushing, I used a flathead screwdriver. This resulted in me breaking the metal top piece off of the bushing. I tried using the flathead again, but wasn't having good luck. So I switched to a pair of angled pliers, which did the trick. Installing the new bushing started out easy, but then became a little more difficult. Just push the new bushing onto the same spot the OEM bushing was. That was the easy part. The harder part was getting the metal retainer onto the bottom of the bushing. I had a hard time doing this with just my fingers, so I instead used a pair of pliers to help pull the retainer apart a bit, which made this process easier. Also, I turned the bushing upside down and placed it back on the metal mount. This helped to hold the bushing steady while I put the retainer on. After a retainer is on securely, you can flip the bushing over, place it back on the mount, and install the new cotter pin. I removed the second bushing almost the same way I did the first, but instead of having to use pliers, I was able to use a flathead screwdriver and WD-40 to get the bushing out. Once the bushing was out, I noticed that it was much larger than the first one. Also, the retainer for this second bushing was different than the first. The bushing pushed onto the linkage just as easily as the first one. Since this retainer had a different style than the first, it was much easier to install on the bottom of the bushing without the need of pliers. I was able to install it with just using my fingers. After the retainer is installed, turn the bushing over and install it back onto the metal mount. Then insert the new cotter pin. You've successfully installed your new shift linkage bushings. To complete the installation, reinstall the battery mount and tray, then the battery. 
Make sure to install the positive terminal before installing the negative. My impressions after installing both the hybrid racing shifter assembly and the Acuity shifter linkage bushings. Both products feel solid and worth the money. The shifts are positive with no play. I feel shifting from left to right is smoother now. The shifter does require a bit more effort, but the shorter throw makes up for the increased effort. It's not a negative feeling, quite the opposite. Again, it gives you a solid and purposeful feeling. This setup makes rowing gears more fun for sure. Plus, the shifter assembly looks badass in the car. It's functional and a visual upgrade for your car. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content.